Good morning from Paris, one of my favorite cities in Europe. It's a city where I used to live and I'm really happy to be back. Unfortunately, the weather is not that nice. This morning we had some sun, but now it started to rain. And uh, we decided that today we are going to leave the car most of the time in the garage because yesterday night we only found an AC charger, which is the slowest charger you can find. It's a normal socket in the wall, meaning that the car takes about 20 hours to, fully, to be fully charged. So today we use um, the wonderful service of uh, the Parisian government, uh, which is called Vilip. It's uh, bicycles that you can rent everywhere. We will now explore Paris a little bit uh, and then go to our first meeting. I am Valerian Amalric, I am 42 years old and I am an architect. Um, and uh, I started this uh, company uh, now more than 10 years ago. Uh, at the very beginning we were not really dedicated to uh, uh, those uh, problems of, uh, or questions about uh, sustainability uh, uh, at all because uh, uh, it was not part of the uh, of what I had to do at the time because there are no projects uh, regarding that uh, but in time uh, it happened that it became the more and more important. Then we had this uh, competition with, uh, with a vertical farm which has been two years ago. Um, we became a, a bit more um, uh, known with that uh, competition and, and the, the awards. Uh, and, uh, and now we are more and more uh, uh, designing and uh, conceptualizing uh, projects that uh, has a relation with uh, sustainability or urban agriculture. Um, also, uh, regarding the fact that we are able to, uh, to think better the, the whole control of environments in, in, in the building, in everything from the greenhouses uh, uh, technology. Uh, as well. So uh, it's part now of, of, of our concept to, uh, to try to, uh, to make things converge uh, with, for instance, uh, collective housing and urban agriculture. You can uh, take advantage of the, the, the greenhouse effects, but not as gas, but with, with temperature. And then you can put it back into uh, uh, ducts and, and heat uh, uh, the housing. So it's interesting to, to think. Uh, uh, that's a new way to, to, to think uh, uh, the envelope, you know. So, uh, so we try to be more and more innovative about uh, those uh, subjects, and it's really interesting. Well, we're talking about sustainability, but it's something really interesting and important uh, in, in a larger view. But for me, uh, as an architect, the most important thing is people uh, and the team, the, the people we are working with, uh, also our clients. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, take care of those people, really, and that's may, maybe the the, the 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 art, you know, the the, the most impo important part for me. So, the design something, the business that's something. Uh, that's the last. But so uh, what we do is for people. So that's really what I, I'm going to do. So uh, I'd say that at the art, the people in there, our team, want to have. Uh, uh, talks and dialogue with other people and what we want to build is uh, relationships before buildings so that's the main aspect there is another project that is really important for me and for the whole team uh, it's what we call has been called uh, la salle de shoot i'm trying to explain that it's a uh, it's a supervised injection facility for uh, drug consumptions 
uh, and we opened that uh, facility uh, uh, sort of a month ago and it was the first time in France. So that was really something impressive uh, because uh, it's all about politics, you know. And at a certain point it was a, a real a struggle between uh, inhabitants, politics, uh, everybody wanted to uh, uh, take advantage of uh, uh, the opening of this, uh, this facility. Uh, it was quite uh, disturbing, uh, but it's, uh, uh, this, project, this project is really important because we, we, are, uh, uh, we thought that it would be uh, a great opportunity there to uh, uh, bring uh, a solution for those, uh, uh, those, those persons that are dealing with uh, strong addictions to, to drugs. Uh, and that was really difficult to uh, undertake and to, to design because we didn't have any, uh, uh, you know, layouts or patterns. So uh, we had a, a, a place at uh, the Hôpital La Riboisière, which is really uh, it's local, also that's to be, uh, uh, near to, to the office. Uh, I think that's typically the, this kind of project uh, is something uh, that we can be proud of but not only architects, but everybody involved in that kind of uh, project. Uh, basically, that's exactly the kind of project we would like to, uh, uh, to deal with. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, that's often really important for me. And still, also, by certain ways, really innovative, because you have to, uh, to adapt to, uh, to find other, uh, other solutions or solutions. Um, so that's uh, probably what we delivered uh, lately. Um, but we have others. Uh, it can be either for um, uh, public facilities or uh, or uh, offices as well. And but everywhere we are able to uh, find a solution or to put something uh, that can change a bit, uh, a bit you know, uh, the uh, the typical the basic solutions uh, uh, we can uh, observe or uh, that kind of uh, uh, typologies. So, uh, for me, as an architect, that's exactly what we should do. Uh, think in advance a bit and, and try to optimize, make some way better uh, uh, something that already exists. There was a shooting today, we just heard about this when we were on our way back home and our apartment is right next to Notre Dame. I don't know, we don't know anything about it, but apparently one man was shot.